Our entrance antiphon. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom should I dread? When those who do evil draw near, they stumble and fall. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Wonderful to gather with, with you and all those who are at home as well, too. I didn't realize we were recording this morning, so I guess I need a mic for all of them as well, too. Today we gather to celebrate this great gift of the Eucharist, this Eucharist which gives us nourish, which calls us forth in the law of love to continue to spread the good news, the God's presence in our lives that we share with all those we meet. To prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries, let us now pause and call to mind the times when we have failed to share the gospel with others, for the times that we have failed by the li to live by the law of love that Christ has given us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who, are call, who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. From Paul and Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are in Philippi, with the bishops and the deacons, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God every time I remember you constantly praying with joy in every one of my prayers for all of you, 
because of your sharing in the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work among you will bring it to completion by the day of Jesus Christ. It is right for me to think this way about all of you, because you hold me in your heart. For all of you share in God's grace with me, both in my imprisonment and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness, how I long for all of you with the compassion of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may overflow more and more with knowledge and full insight to help you to determine what is best, so that in the day of Christ you may be pure and blameless, having produced the harvest of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. The word of the Lord. How great are the works of the Lord. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart in the company of the upright in the congregation. Great are the works of the Lord, studied by all who delight in them. Full of honor and majesty is his work, and his righteousness endures forever. He has gained renown by his wonderful deeds. The Lord is gracious and merciful. He provides food for those who fear him. He is ever mindful of his covenant. He has shown his people the power of his works in giving them the heritage of the nations. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My sheep listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. On one occasion, when Jesus was going to the house of a leader of the Pharisees to eat a meal on the Sabbath, they were watching him closely. Just then, in front of them, in front of him, there was a man who had dropsy. And Jesus asked the lawyers and the Pharisees, Is it lawful? to cure people on the Sabbath or not. But they were silent. So Jesus took him and healed him and sent him away. Then Jesus said to them, if one of you has a child or an ox that has fallen into a well, will you not immediately pull it out on the Sabbath day? And they could not reply to this. The Gospel of the Lord. Once again, Jesus is faced with the test of the Pharisees and scribes when they ask him, is it lawful to cure people on the Sabbath or not? Of course, we know many nurses and doctors in our own communities who are working on the Sabbath, of course, and we need them because there are people who get sick every day of the week, including the Sabbath. So is it lawful for for people to work on Sunday? If necessary, yes. If necessary, yes. Because Jesus is calling us to follow the law of love, 
to care for those. And so when Jesus meets this man who has dropsy, he first took him, which means he received him. Perhaps he even talked to him a little bit to get to know who he was. And then he healed him. He healed him of this infirmity, this sickness, and then he sent him away. Not in the sense of go away, he sent him away with this great encounter that he had received through Christ, the message of the gospel, if you will, the same one that we've come to receive today, and we will be sent away, sent out to share with others. And Paul reminds us in that first reading how we are called to share in the gospel. Each time we come to receive the Eucharist, we share in the gospel as well. That's so important to this celebration of the Eucharist. We not only receive Jesus through the Eucharist, but we receive him through the word, through the gospel. And we're called to share both of them with the entire world, with all those that we meet daily in our lives. And as I thought about that this morning in prayer, I thought about the people that I share the gospel with, not only all of you who are gathered here, but I think of our prayer group that comes together. Uh, we share the gospel with them. We share the gospel with our staff this week. We prayed the with the gospel this week on Sunday in preparation. And, so we sh and of course, we share the gospel with those who are online with Alpha, and there's probably many other instances as well, too, where the gospel is being shared, not only each time we celebrate Mass, but it's being shared in our community here. And it gives me great hope and joy to hear that. And certainly Paul, he's praying with joy, and he's thrilled to hear how these communities, including those in Philippi, the Philippians, are receiving this word and sharing it with others as well. We are sharing God's grace, as Paul mentioned as well, this great power in our lives. And we often forget what great power God has given us that we're not just keeping it to ourselves, we need to share it with the whole world, with those gathered here and those watching as well today. We need to share that with others. We are not lost. We are lost without the gospel. We are nothing without the gospel. We are nothing without Jesus in our lives. Remember that when you meet people on the way today and each day because they don't always have the gospel and we need to give that to them because each of us is lost without it. Let's help one another find our way to the kingdom by sharing this great good news of the gospel today and always. Having received Jesus through the Word of God, we now come together and offer our prayers for the needs of the church and for this world. Let us pray for our church, that it may be a community that is ready and willing to share the gospel with all God's people. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for government leaders and world leaders that justice may prevail in their countries and that they may be true shepherds to the people they are called to serve. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are in need of healing, the sick among us, that they may know the, and those who are stricken with the coronavirus as well, that they may know the healing power of God's presence in their lives. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our family of parishes that we may become strong and united as one family. We pray to the Lord. We pray for ourselves gathered here, who are here to receive the Word of God and to receive Jesus in the Eucharist, that we may have the courage and strength to share that, that this encounter with all God's people. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who have died. We especially remember Jean 
uh, O'Brien, whose funeral we celebrated yesterday, and for Margaret Miller as well, that, she, that they and all those who have died may know the joys of eternal life. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for the intentions of this Mass, which are being offered for the deceased members of the Regeer and Campbell families, and for Greg Hartman. Hartman, we pray to the Lord. God, our Heavenly Father, you sent your Son among us so that he may teach us the law of love. Strengthen us, Lord, as we receive him this day in the Eucharist and in the Word, that we may find, find the courage to boldly announce this good news, to share this good news with all those we meet this day. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received. You are, through, through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look kindly upon our service, Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and, give, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Ronald, Peter, our Bishop, Joseph, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Boniface, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give up this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one other sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Amen.
enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
our communion antiphon, God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God and God in him. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to do what is right through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord.